Okay, well, welcome to my place, dude. Uh, I just wanted to show you my setup. I run the Denon 6300H audio receiver, and uh, I live in a pretty small apartment, so I, I don't do the seven speaker setup. I actually do five speakers. I, I've got all um, ELAC Unify line. I have two ELAC Unify UF5s. They're the towers. And I use those for my left and rights. And then I use the Unify Center. And I have it under 125 inch diagonal elite screens. Uh, it's motorized retractable right now. And over here, I have a 65 inch uh, LG OLED TV. It's the E7. I actually like it more than the E8. Stupidly enough, because I like the remote design more. <laughs> <laughs> I like the googly eyes. Yeah, that's for the PlayStation camera. It's a privacy <laughs> shield. And googly eyes just uh, make everything look better. <laughs> um, I actually I don't run any subs right now because I live on the third floor of an apartment. I don't. But you do have subs, you just don't have them. Connected. Yeah, I use them to raise the towers up to get the tweeter as close as I can to the the center of the screen. And um, I, I guess this is the brain of the whole setup. This is Microsoft's uh, flagship all-in-one PC. Right now we're watching one of that home theater dude's videos right now. I have that hooked up to the Denon, which can shoot it out to both the TV and the projector. So this is just for size on how to show how big this thing is and how big is it? Oh yeah, this is a 128 inch diagonal monitor. It's actually kind of like a souped up laptop with this awesome touchscreen attached to it. And it's actually adjustable. It can go down to, I think a 20 inch, or I mean a 20 degree angle. And I have it mounted. This is a remote magnetic keyboard that I've Put together i have it mounted to this adjustable arm so i can use the computer in both seating positions in my apartment for i call this the captain's chair this is my recliner and then you can actually swing it around and as you can see over there we're, we're playing with the vr earlier um <laughs> if you guys haven't done vr before it is a really a really cool experience he has a play, he has two playstations and I was using uh, the VR on one of them, and it was it was it was actually really trippy. So <laughs> I really like the PlayStation VR. I uh, I think the Surface Studio can support uh, Windows VR headsets, but I don't have one. I think the PSVR is right now the most economically accessible VR headset you can buy right now. And there's a bunch of really cool games on there. You, you guys should check it out. Did we talk about the top speakers yet? Oh no, so um, I went ahead and went with the ELAC line for all my speakers and before I moved in the, into this place, I had bought um, the uh, up-firing Atmos speakers. But when I moved in, I've got a, a popcorn vaulted ceiling which doesn't lend itself very well to ceiling reflection. So I was trying to think of the best way to incorporate Atmos into the setup and the, the best way, not the easiest way, was to just mount the speakers to the ceiling. Had a hell of a time doing it. And then you got some uh, some more Eulocks back here? Yeah, so these, I don't think that you need the Unifies for your back channels. They're, they're mostly just for sound effects, right? But initially I had bought the bookshelves for the front two channels and then I got the towers on sale, so I moved the Unifies to the back channels. And then the other two Unifies that I, were, I was using, I moved those into the bedroom. I actually had an, old, uh, an older screen that I set up in the bedroom with just the two, the two speakers, and I put a short throw projector in the bedroom so I can watch stuff in bed. Yeah, so I'll just peek right in there real quick. Yeah, I can if, turn if, on the if, light if you want. If you, have, <laughs> if you guys don't have a 100-inch you know, projector screen in your bedroom, then you, you guys might be missing out. But yeah, cool. This is a uh, this is actually a really cool setup, and I like doing this because it's actually uh, very very uh, cool to come out and see different people's setups. It doesn't really matter if you guys have like 100% theater grade stuff. I mean, everyone's gonna work with what they got. So I like to 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 see everyone's setups and to see uh, different people's ideas on how to get this stuff uh, properly 
um, installed and basically to see what you guys are working with. So, I mean, um, I, I really enjoy coming out here and, and, and checking out these different things. So if you guys are in the Dallas Fort Worth area, I'd really like to extend this, this opportunity to, um, go ahead and contact me down in the description or the comments, and maybe I'll be able to come out and check out your home theater at the same time. All right, guys, well, that's it. This is that home theater, dude. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. If you haven't, make sure you go ahead and like favorite, share, and subscribe. Wouldn't mind you guys leaving a comment down below. Other than that, catch you guys next time.